All right, here we are at our 2001 Horizon. This is a 16 by 72 wide body aluminum hull houseboat for sale. We're here on the beautiful fresh waters of Norris Lake, Tennessee. This one has a transferable mooring location and a 16 by about 74 foot dock that is included as a package. Now, here at this dock, we've got about a 16 by 50 foot cover and about a uh, 9 by 24 foot boat slip as well as a cutout for a PWC port and that is a 6,600 pound hydro hoist boat lift. We've got about uh, 9 feet 5 inches of clearance from the water line underneath that uh, boat slip. That is a Permaport 800 series PWC port. We have Actually, this is a good place to show you. We basically got kind of a rug rail um, around the exterior of the dock and your boat slip. You've got a nice galvanized steel frame, new style, plastic encapsulated flotation, composite ducking, and some ceiling fans and some, some bird deterrents kind of built into the dock. A little composite bar table here, pop up outlet, charging everybody's devices, little small patio table chairs, umbrella set, we got a six step swim boarding ladder that folds down over the edge here and again shore power is ran to this mooring location so this is a turnkey package ready for you, ready to go here on uh, Norris Lake. Just about everything that you'll see in this video tour will be included with this one. That goes for our patio furniture here on your front porch. Get a great view with this harbor. You're basically on the front line. Main channel of the lake's right out there in the center of the frame now. Ceiling fan overhead, we've got a little pull down sunshade here off your uh, front porch. Two speakers, two wet sound speakers up here on the uh, front porch as well. We're here for that video walkthrough tour. And as always, you're gonna find the most up-to-date information uh, regarding this one as well as the current asking price all at our website which is at www.yournewboat.com we don't mention those asking prices in the video tours because they will often change until the listing is sold but for your convenience we'll have a direct link for the web listing for this one just down in the video description so if you just take the time if you're on YouTube if you just take the time, pull that video description down, you're going to see a direct link take you to the, to the uh, website listing for this one at our website. Once you make it there, you're going to see a, a large photo slideshow tour. It's going to kind of go through every area of the boat, all the rooms. You'll see a, uh, more of a detailed written description there. And then, of course, our contact information is going to be all over there. So um, there are roughly about 1,050 hours, uh, a little bit less than that. We'll have that exact um, engine hours uh, again posted at our website at the web listing for this one uh, this is powered by 3.0 liter four cylinder inline four cylinder mercruiser inboard outboard stern drive engines we've got mmc electronic uh, shift and throttle controllers we've got a 12 and a half kw wester beat generator by 2886.4 hours showing on that wester beat generator of course here's your engine instrumentation um, this is your, your port side, your starboard side, rudder angle indicator gauge here in the middle. Uh, we've got a pair of, uh, I believe it's about 102 gallon uh, fuel tanks, uh, one port, one starboard. You've got a single gauge with a toggle switch that lets you kind of get the reading for each of those. Uh, each engine you're going to have oil pressure, engine temp gauge, battery voltmeter, and your tachometer with that built-in hour meter. Now I will tell you, the hour... Uh, well, the ignition keys have been 
left on accidentally on this one. And the port side is reading 12,079 hours and the starboard side is reading 5,556.6 hours. Um, we do have um, a much better estimate um, for those. Um, and again, that, those come in, I think it was, I th actually, I think it's about 1,038 hours is, is what that estimate would be for both your port and your starboard side engine. We do ha also have a 12 volt power outlet here at your helm as well. Now, we're going to step back, let you take all this in. We've got a 49 inch Toshiba flat screen television here in the main living room area, ceiling fan overhead. This one has been very nicely updated throughout. We've got new paint on the exterior. Uh, two coats of durothane on the roof of the exterior. The paint and the durothane was all done in 2022. We've got insulated front and rear sliding doors. This is a four bedroom. Two full baths. We've also got a pontoon boat included with this package as well. We're going to get to all that here eventually. All residential appliances on this one. And here in our kitchen we have Whirlpool Gold Stainless Appliances, which includes this Whirlpool Over the Range Microwave, Whirlpool Smooth Top Range and Oven, Double Stainless Sink, Whirlpool Gold Dishwasher, and a Whirlpool Gold Stainless Side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer, we've got an ice maker and ice and water in the door. I believe that's about a 22 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer. All right, center hall layout. And here's your first of four bedrooms. We've got a king-size master bedroom and then three queen-size beds. And as you can see, we've got a 12 volt fan. You're in your first queen size state room. We've got a small little hanging closet, two built in dresser drawers, 12 volt and 12 volt and 110 lighting throughout. And of course, we've also got pocket doors throughout this one. So here is our first of two bathrooms. It's a full bath with a walk in shower, rare tan. Head, there are two 80 gallon waste holding tanks, two 80 gallon fresh water tanks, and then you heard me mention earlier, uh, two 102 gallon onboard fuel tanks. So walk in shower. We've also got a galvanic isolator. I believe I mentioned shore power is, is running out to this dock. We're basically operating on shore power right now. And then your sub, uh, bedroom number two and three is going to be down. Three steps. Basically what we're doing, we're stepping down in the hall. Now before I step down there, I do want to do point out we've got a, basically a pocket door that you can close off right there in the hallway. And then as we step down into, into basically the hall area, you can see we've got a nice large dresser, eight built-in drawers, countertop surface, and then basically you've got we've got a curtain that will go all the way out over top of this countertop. It's actually cut for that. I don't know if you can see here, but got a little bit of a shorter curtain there where that will go all the way across. And then queen size bed right here. Um, and of course that uh, that's just on the floor there. You can slide that out. 
Of course, the kids usually like those down a little bit lower. We've got air return, HVAC vent right here, 12 volt fan here as well, and then a hanging closet right here. These are all cedar line closets. And we've got about six feet of headroom down here. All right, now your third queen would be more of the crawl-in, is what these are called, crawl-in cutties. And again, there's that, there's that curtain that's gonna come all the way over, give you some privacy there. You got two built-in dresser drawers, another cedar line hanging closet right here. And then there's your other queen size bed, 12 volt fan overhead. And uh, that ceiling does does raise up a little bit more once you get all the way in here, but uh, your adults are gonna have to probably crawl in and out of here. Of course, you got plenty of headroom when you get down here and you're actually in the bed. Again, kids, kids do love these cutty state rooms. So now, I'm backing out of there. Back up the three steps, we're back up on the main level. There's you look forward. And here's the, moving on back to the back of the boat, another uh, pocket door here. And then here's your built-in king-size bed. It's your master stateroom. You basically got the full, full beam master stateroom, meaning the, the full width of the boat back here. You've got some steps that uh, will take you up to one side of the bed, built-in nightstand, dresser drawer, ceiling fan overhead. There are uh, speakers back here for your sound system. There is a wet sounds, AM, FM, NOAA weather band. Bluetooth stereo with uh, basically zoned audio throughout throughout the vessel. Two steps and a uh, another nightstand back here. On this side of the year, king bed. You got the cable outlet in a little cubby right there. That's right above. Five built-in dresser drawers. Nice large. Walk-in closet area, another another cedar line closet area right here. Large hanging closet. And on this side would be a Kenmore stacked heavy duty wash and dryer unit. Now we're gonna back up from there. Just forward of that, right after you walk into your master stateroom, is gonna be the master bath. We've got a shower tub and your second rare tan marine head. So basically when you're out on a mooring, there is a, there is a pump out boat that will come out to the mooring location and pump out your waste holding tanks. All the wastewater is handled that way on all of Norris Lake, whether you're on a mooring or if you're in a slip. If you're on a mooring, the pump-out boats either uh, either are service through the marina or service through a uh, local pump-out company, but they will come out, pump out that wastewater on a regular basis or as needed. Kind of depends a little bit on location. So here are those Mercruiser 3.0 liter four-cylinder inboard outboard stern drive engines again about a thousand thirty eight hours on these uh, we do have the easy drain feature on these four cylinders boat safe engine compartment heater there's that uh, 102 gallon aluminum fuel tank got onboard battery charger right here Go ahead and close these hatches as we visit each one. Here's the 12 and a half kW Wester Beak generator again, 2886 hours showing on this.
is your A-Line automatic fire suppression system. Although I believe the brand name on that one is actually Sea Fire. Uh, that one's a KID system, K-I-D-D-E. And then this would be your starboard side, Merc Cruiser. 3.0 liter, four cylinder, inboard, outboard, stern drive engine. It's rated at uh, around 130, 135 horsepower each. Also with the easy drain feature right there. This is a Goodman HVAC unit, basically res residential heat and air conditioning unit, central heat and air. And this is new as of, I believe, 2021. We'll have the date of that at the website. And that's either a three and a half or a four, four ton, ton system. So we do have a small integrated swim platform. Two more of those wet sound speakers back here on your rear, rear porch. Spiral staircase to the rooftop, which is where we're gonna venture next. We got a storm rolling in here, so I'm probably gonna be a little quick up here on the uh, on the rooftop. So this is that durethane that was just applied. Two coats of this was just done here in 2022. Uh, we do have a few areas um, that that appear to be here to be solid walking on but a little bit a few little cracks in there I might need touched up in a few places up here and of course you can see that metal roof for that 16 by 50 foot covered portion of that included dock here's our canvas party top up here this is a Twenty-foot canvas party top, rooftop bar. We've got four Wet Sounds tower speakers up here underneath your canvas top on this aluminum frame. Ceiling fan overhead. Rope lighting around your party top. Bimini top over top your dual hand flybridge. We've got two Wet Sound subwoofers in either side of that. Um, kind of integrated bench seat here at your uh, flybridge. So this is basically your dual helm. Wet sounds uh, stereo remote up here. And then you've got old pressure water temp tachometer for each your port and your starboard side as well as your rudder, rudder angle indicator gauge. And then there's that MMC electronic shift controller. This gives you a better, better view of the lake from up here. So in your uh, rooftop bar, we do have a small little integrated sink and a Frigidaire electric refrigerator. This is what sounds power speakers. Now I do want to mention, um, and, and I'll, I'll do another step down here in, in a minute before we wrap up this video tour, but that little a little pontoon boat is also included. That is a uh, 2010 model pontoon. We got a Bimini top and a 40 horsepower Mercury four stroke outboard engine. And that will be included with this package, with this very turnkey package with the houseboat, four bedroom, two bath, twin engine houseboat, and large dock that's all included with this one so six step swim boarding ladder on our on our dock again this is a 16 by 70 four foot roughly dock with 50 feet of it covered that's a great turnkey package for somebody now uh, passed up this earlier but i do want to point out actually i probably need to we've got an access panel on either side of this 
built-in bar table here on the dock. And this is where our water maker system is housed. So you can make your own water year round out here. So basically this is a lake water pump. We've got a pressure tank. It's going through a filter and then a UV light uh, for, for your uh, treatment. And you can use this to basically re refill your fresh water tanks on this boat. Again, make your own potable water year round. So that's, um, so this little box right here with a little red LED on it, that is the uh, your UV light controller. And of course you've got a uh, 12 volt water pump on the houseboat as well. And let's step uh, back across the rear of the houseboat here. And let me show you this pontoon. So this is a little 2010 pontoon boat. And so whenever you have a, a floating house or a houseboat out on a mooring line, everybody needs one of these. This is your marina boat. These are great because they're about dock height. They're just a platform where you can easily load up your gear, your groceries, your luggage, everything you need for the weekend or the week uh, with this 40 horsepower Mercury four stroke outboard engine with electric start. It's going to be a nice, dependable little motor. You just turn the key and it's going to start right up. And then you've got some lighting on here as well. You've got your running lights. You've got 12 volt, 12 volt power outlet right here, little USB chargers. Um, and you've got lights going around the exterior of this one as well. So this is a great little just turnkey package. Here's your raw. Uh, Running lights up here as well. Did not realize that turn goes on. I'm sure did. And then this kind of gets you a look down here on the starboard side of your of this uh, Horizon houseboat. Get a new paint job on this one. Done in 2022. All right. Hey, we wanted to do a quick video update here on this 2001 Horizon 16 by 70 foot wide body aluminum all houseboat for sale here on beautiful North Lake, Tennessee. This is the one with that uh, optional uh, large dock here with it. So now when you do make it over the website, we, we are now pricing this dock in addition to the houseboat uh, and the pontoon would be with the dock package. So if you do need a place to keep it, um, this can all be purchased as a package deal. Now with the package, of course, you're getting the lift that's in there, the PWC board, uh, the dock, the pontoon boat, transferable slip for that pontoon boat at the dock. And then also the one thing you can't see is there's actually uh, underwater mining cable providing shore power out here. And it's going underneath the water and um, traveling across the lake bottom and going up on the shore uh, to a meter station. So um, that can be purchased um, in addition to the houseboat. Otherwise, the houseboat can be purchased separately. Now, um, the updates we wanted to give you, well, number one, don't get too distracted by the um, party top framing here. This is aluminum frame. Uh, there is canvas that goes with this. That's been pulled off uh, for just winterization. If you, if you take the time to take that canvas off in the winter, you will double the life of it. Okay, in the winter time, if you are up here, you're gonna want this on anyway. So, and, and then that's gonna uh, get all that extra UV exposure off of it, and as well as uh, protect it from uh, from any snowfall. You get too much snowfall on there and that canvas isn't gonna hold. So, uh, when, we, when we originally listed this boat, they had, they had just um, coated the roof, and there was a few spots that kind of needed to be um, redone, but not quite safe enough. And so we really wanted to update to let you know uh, that the coating has been put on here and uh, this was a uh, a urethane uh, based enamel coating, industrial coating um, that was applied here. And the product looks good, and uh, everything everything uh, feels really good about it. So, wanted to give you that update. And um, so, when it comes to you know, we've talked in other videos, and if you if you've ever come looked at a boat with me, we've probably talked in detail about uh, all your roof coating options. Gel coat is what's on here from the factory. Uh, when that's done out in the elements, it, it usually does not cure that well, and you don't have as as long of a lifespan out of it. So, um, anytime you're coating the roof um, after market, 
and it's going to be done out in the elements there there's there's other things that are going to be a little bit longer lasting than uh, gel coat so and, and there's several different polyurethane based paints uh that kind of harden up as you put them on um that uh people have been uh, experimenting with and and is getting more and more uh widely used in the houseboat community especially up around lake cumberland area so did want to kind of update you to the to the uh, roof coating here that's been done now in the photographs and the video um, you also notice a little bit of damage on this corner right here this has also been sealed up as well so I really just want to call everybody's attention to that bear with me here on the camera I'm gonna turn this around and try to show you this corner a little bit better here show you where that has been sealed up as well Okay, now, um, you know, another another comment I, uh, that we've gotten on this one is we do show you uh, kind of some stains on the interior walls around your windows. Okay, those are not active leaks. That's, that is signs of, of just old moisture intrusion. Okay, and that's all dried up and solid. And this right here, this is your caulking around these exterior windows. This has all been done. And this caulking is something you want to keep an eye on. This is probably the most commonly neglected uh, maintenance area on aluminum houseboats, at least in our area, is that people neglect this caulking. They forget to redo it. Uh, depending on conditions where your boat's located, um, you, you may get a couple years out of this. You may get a few more than a couple years out of this, but that is that is all. That is something that is going to have to be redone um, from time to time. When this caulking gets neglected, uh, water can get in, rainwater can get in anywhere, um, unless you're under a covered slip, obviously. Um, usually it's gonna get in around the top, and then once it gets um, behind that um, exterior, it's gonna follow that channel of the window, and it's gonna track all the way down the corner. And then when this, when the bottom corner hits, that, that water, rainwater, is that is where it's gonna leak out and show that stains on the interior of the cabin. So it, there could be a break in any of the caulking at any point. And just about every time it's gonna follow that track around, it's gonna show in the corners on the interior. So we do show you some stains in here just because we like to represent these as accurately as possible. And just because there are some stains does not mean any of those are leaking. Um, in fact, this one, everything should be nice and, and, and dry on this one. Um, the other the other big uh, neglect area is this hull, the deck joint. This also gets caulking. Now, uh, <clears throat> we've got just some dirt on here just from the winter season, and that's the black in there. But that is a, a nice, fresh, thick bead of caulking that's sealing that hull of that joint, sealing all these windows up. So this one also, you've got that fresh, um, uh, fresh paint on the exterior. You've got the recent drive service, and you now have that um, that roof that has a uh, additional coating on there. So uh, this one is is really a, a nice, uh, mostly turnkey option for you. This is um, honestly, it's kind of rare to have these in this condition. But anyway, uh, with that other coating having been down on the roof, um, and again we have gotten uh, a lot of comments. Um, I think people are assuming that there's stains on those windows. No, th th those are old stains. Um, all these um, walls and windows all appear to be um, nice and dry and solid. So, and, that, and that's something a marine surveyor is going to check for too, and the importance of that. So here's another look at that corner uh, from this angle right here. There's a little bit of piece of uh, kind of siding right there in the exterior, not the center of the frame right now, that, um, that could use uh, being uh, sealed up a little bit better on the exterior, but the uh, the roof surface um, that all appears to have been sealed up. And I think actually that's that's actually some dirt in that corner. There's another bead of caulking right in there, and that's some dirt down there um, that's kind of center of the frame now that you're seeing. So anyway, just wanted to update uh, people on this one. Uh, we'll see if we can add this video to the end of the original video tour, uh, just to kind of clear up some of that and and let people know that are interested in this one. Uh, a couple more of those little extra details. So we always like to show you instead of just tell you what we can. So just wanted to update you here, let you know about that. And then, um, and of course, as usual, as this video tour wraps up, we will
remind you, visit the website to contact us. We don't mind the YouTube comment page. And uh, of course, you're going to see two things pop up as this video concludes. Uh, in the top left corner, it's going to be a shortcut to our current listings playlist. In the top right corner, it's going to be a shortcut to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And um, so if you haven't already subscribed, we're always happy to have you. Whether you're in the market for something or you just like killing time when you're, when you're at uh, your desk at work either way we're happy to have you as a subscriber and i thank you again for joining us again this is this will now conclude the 2001 horizon 16 by 70 foot wide body aluminum house boat for sale here again on beautiful north lake tennessee and i thank you again for joining us